<laughs> All right, and we're back. Okay, so you start moving. You hear all this, you know, and all like this pillaging and stuff. And you suspect that, you know, things are either taken, stolen, or whatever happens. But eventually, the it goes quiet in the night, and the orcs okay. all leave. Um, also, you see. to just kill off a bunch of stuff since they went in and killed everything as orcs do. <laughs> yeah. Um, Rylax, who was on top of Daisy's head when saw the orcs, was like nope and flew the other direction. Eventually, flies over and you see... <clears throat> I wake up with a kitty on my head. Rylax, yep, floats down. And you wake up and you right. see... Just right, does that thing where they just lay on your chest? Yep, and go to sleep. <laughs> She's oh, there. Wow. Gates are closed. Um, let's see. All goes quiet during the night. Um, during the night... Alara... She's just heartbroken. So Alora was Alora was the one that was spazzing out on the bridge. Yes, she was just heartbroken, and uh, Kaylin, she's just kind of she kind of comes again, and she's just like, uh, well, um, while and this is kind of during a time where it seems like it's still kind of getting rowdy a bit, hasn't quite uh, quieted down yet. She's like. Um, let's just kind of gather inside. Um, we're pretty secure in here, especially since there's a raging fire out there. I don't think they'll be coming this way. Of course. And throughout whatever happens and follows, I am keeping an eye on the new guy. Okay. Um, Zoltan. He seems like he's lost in thought. Inside, pulls inside. I'm going to do that. All right. Um, Alara is the red one. That doesn't really matter because it's going to be more theater than mine, anyways. But so come to here. Gets back to around the body. Uh, the other guard like tries to comfort her, but she's just like, "Leave me alone! Just get off me!" And she's just kind of crying. And then, she, uh, as y'all come inside, he comes inside. Let's see, how does this look from your point of view? Okay, y'all can see that. All right. Um, the other guard kind of leaves her alone, comes back, and says, "Oh, I'll help you with your friend." And kind of takes the feet of Daisy Eye. Somebody wants to grab his head. And. Daisy Eye's dirty, dirty feet. <laughs> Pulls him in, no shoes. Kind of clean. <clears throat> Surprisingly clean. With the cat on top. You can't walk around without shoes and have clean feet. <laughs> They're surprisingly clean. <laughs> surprisingly? <laughs> You're like hovering over the uh, the dirt. <laughs> you think I don't know about y'all, but I need a drink. Um, the guard's like, ah, yes. Um, I guess I should, uh, thank you. And, uh, at least you kept me and, uh, Alara alive. Ah, uh, I'll be right back. She goes upstairs to go to the bedroom. And you see about five minutes later you hear, What? And uh, 
she looks around and you hear like kind of things crashing like or whatever and um she walks back downstairs and she's like well i would have thanked you but i guess i just kind of assumed that that sort of tact but you left it all there because of the warning but seems like the chest was empty so since you already got your reward there is a couple things I'd like to ask back <clears throat> that belong to the kingdom you may it's just kind of like <laughs> your eyes are pretty pissed but before you do that was there any booze up there? Not a drop. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Says Effie, who knows, because she went through everything. Cormac goes to the kitchen, and you just hear him start throwing rocks around as he's clearly trying to dig a little bit. <laughs> Perhaps I may guess as to what the kingdom owns. I would that like I may return. the jury box and the contents of. That's right exactly what I was going to offer you. Now. Absolutely. She, uh, looks in her backpack and gingerly takes it out and hands it over. Um, she lo- opens up the jury box and makes sure that there are the three gold necklaces inside yes. of the jury box. Closes it back up. Kind of gives you this look. Shakes her head. <laughs> and then walks this way. Puts it on top of the lady who was slowly decomposing. <laughs> And, uh, uh, she turns back, and she's like, Well, I guess you got your reward? Yes, not that you believe me or know me, but I actually was going to return some of those things. Why did you take them in the first place? I did say stay out. Yes, and then I fell down a flight of stairs and died. And so I felt a little bit, um, bitter? Um, is that, whose fault I, is that? I might have made some some rash decisions, but okay. all is well in the world, isn't it now? You must excuse the little miss. Her parents sent me to retrieve her. Uh, they warned me about her sense of entitlement. Ah. Uh, she gets, she walks over here. Looks at you said, we'll deal with you in a minute. Comes this way looks at Carmack and tosses you a bottle. Ha! <laughs> Some whiskey that apparently didn't He get. drops the rock. <laughs> 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 and uh, it's about half a bottle, but it is, seems like it's pretty aged, pretty nice. It's like <laughs> the good stuff. Or whatever. And it's about a quarter of a bottle now and he's like... <laughs> Whoa, that's fast. Fast stuff right there. She's like, nice. Okay. Anyways, um, well, I was going to pay you in, uh, the uh, gemstones. Worth, but since you have them, you're now paid. But, I mean, at least, I don't know. I mean, we can rebuild our town, but um, since you did take those, I implore you to find our people. Please, find our people. Effie, um, actually, I don't know where she was standing or sitting, but anyway, she walks over to the the guard speaking, which is a blue one. Yes. Caleb. Caleb. And, um, she pulls out of her pocket um, the velvet sack that contains 180 silver pieces mm-hmm. and um, she kind of tosses it up a little bit in the air and and tosses it to her she catches it and she's like she walks back over, puts it back in your hands, and she's like, Consider it payment for bringing our people, please. I really was going to return this. 
and she kind of leaves it with you and just says, if you want to pay, pay us back for the theft, please find our people. Uh, Effie, not being able to speak to the others, looks back at everyone, looking at their faces and if they seem willing to take on the mission. Zulkin just kind of stands with his back to the wall. Eating gold is not, is not the best down payment for a, such a dangerous mission, but I'm sure something else can be arranged upon its completion. I say we accept it. Uh, Cormac takes but, out a coin. But you stole from it. us bef- first, though. It de- mm. yeah. yeah. All right, all right. I just give Effie a flat look. <laughs> Cormac, you're flipping your uh, your coin. He, he flips a coin, he catches it, he looks at it, and he goes, Okay, I'm in. <laughs> she kind of like looks like... <laughs> Thank you. And then You're and, welcome. Uh, and Fairly I think that's the following into group loot. <sighs> she's like, yeah, at least it takes a lot off my mind. And she's like, ah, oh, don't um Yeah. Uh, Alara's she's well Torm well. Let's just say she's not in a very good place at the moment. Um, all um, you're welcome to sleep where you like. Um, you have the run of whatever we have left. I mean, as long as we have our people, Nightstone is its people, not its town. We we can rebuild. We can rebuild. Yeah, what's a boulder or two smashing a few roofs? Ah, she kind of smiles. She's like, okay. Uh, thank you again. And, uh, oh. She walks over to Zolkin and is like, I don't trust you. Never have trust your kind. You need to leave. Leave when they leave. And Zolkin doesn't say anything. And she walks back over here. And says like a good night. She kind of gives him the snide look and kind of sits next to uh, Alara, puts her hand over her shoulder. And we all have this time before the morning comes. Um, Effie looks uh <laughs> well scolded and. Uh, She's like, I really was going to return some of that. I just cross my arms, sit down some place where I can see Zulkin, and drift off to sleep until somebody... I guess uh, we probably should have watches, because orcs can still get it get down the gates, so uh, I guess we organize that. I yeah. would say that uh, Effie would want to talk to the group kind of away from Zultan, and, um... Yeah, Zulkin just sits down with his arms crossed. Did we perhaps get anything off of his beloved's body, such as a necklace or something? I vaguely remember she had some possessions. Maybe something he might hold dear? Nothing in particular. I believe she had the crossbow, some bolts, a little bit of coin, and that note saying, we come. Yeah, she just had weapons and armor and a pouch of eight gold pieces and five silver pieces. That was it. Yes. Uh, he had time to inspect her body. If she had anything else, I'm sure he took it. There was nothing else on her. If y'all are done, then we'll move on. Uh, Cormac will offer everybody a sip of the whiskey. (laughs) 
I will take one, but only after I find a dusty glass that I wipe out. <laughs> yeah, you do. Okay. I will share a drink with him. Tiny little from glass. the bottle. <laughs> so can, while y'all go over there, while you're talking, he gets up, walks over to Daisy Eye, and uh, pops something in your mouth. And you kind of come to. And he says, Consider that on letting me leave peacefully in the morning. And he walks back and sits down. He closes his eyes, goes to sleep. He was holding out on us, sons of bitches. I'm just joking. Where am I? ACI, you you have one hit point. It was something <laughs> just enough to revive you. That's cool. But you get to go to sleep. No wake up. Pretty much. Oh my gosh. And that makes me excited because I am just now getting around to finishing this <clears throat> Um You wake up with a cat on your face. Well, on your chest. <laughs> When it I sees you moving, that. takes really his claws and starts scratch. kneading your face. You get a couple scratches on your face. I just had it. Uh, thank you, Zulkan. You okay, Dace? Mm. I've been better. Your hand isn't too burned, I take it. It will be fine. I'm feeling also terrible. Nothing a good night's rest won't at least help. Yes, that would be nice. I agree. Haven't really had the chance to reflect on the last couple of hours. Um, I'm, I'm thinking I'll have some good insight in the morning. Where is Dace? Underneath the cat. Oh. <laughs> Next. That's funny. I was wondering why I couldn't see him. <laughs> um, Effie comes over and kind of starts nesting near Dace, whom she feels the most comfortable. The cat walks over to you and sits on you. Seems you've made a friend. Uh, you know, Dace. It's by uh, itself. I can latch on to those who are also by themselves. I want to learn the Jack of All Trades things, but something of Dace's. <laughs> hmm? Um, perhaps you can teach me how to, uh, fix pants. <laughs> you know, that sewing um, thing you do. I suppose, yes. I can. What tools <clears throat> do you use with those? I just pull out, um, my weaver's tools and it's just, um, it's just like a little pouch and you just unties, opens up inside, there's just like a needle and some thread and um some bits of cloth that's about it. Something tells me I need to sew you up a few times I can also use a loom but they're a bit harder to carry around. I'd imagine and it's it just things. Well teach me how Obviously, use more of your pants, not mine, to show me. Well, I have a big rip in my pants, so I okay, instruct you how to fix my pants with the leftover cloth that's in my in the little thing. Because I only ripped off like a little bit. I would say this pattern would be the best. It's so fancy. So while y'all are drinking, 
um, they're learning how to have their sewing class. Do you take your pants off? <laughs> no. No. I leave my pants on. <laughs> that is not how you sew. <laughs> <laughs> so what skill exactly am I picking up? Um, I don't know. I have. It's You'd have. You would. Tool. You would. It wouldn't be the skill. It would be the tool. The weaver's tools. So if you have some, you'll have half proficiency. So like, if Daisy gives you his tools, then you would have half proficiency using that, because that's the only thing he can teach you is how to do the weavers. Got it. So basically, if I find some new tools or I get to borrow his, then I can. Well, right. Jack of all trades means you just get a flat plus one bonus to everything that you don't already have a plus two bonus in. Correct. But this particular thing right here that you put on, that's the, it's like two skills or tools. So if you want to do that, then that's what you would be in. That's at least one. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Because he's particularly, he's proficient in it and he's teaching you. So you still oh. have another skill or something. Yes, I don't have to do it right away, do I? No. Okay. We'll be here all freaking day. What else can anybody do? Teach me quick. I know. <laughs> I want to meet someone who could do some medical stuff or something. Okay. That's it for me. So okay, so basically, y'all learned that through the night. Um, both y'all are kind of drinking. And y'all kind of... Uh, <laughs> since you are next to... Um, Cormac, you do hear him talking to <laughs> his helmet. That was so cool today. How you kept me alive. <laughs> Thanks. You found all these people for me. And they seem to be hanging out with me. This is cool. Thanks, Aww. Tent. Thanks, Tent. And then he goes to sleep with the helmet on. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I go to sleep and wake up like the Matrix, and I'm like, I know Kung Fu. As I uh, officially take the uh, College of Whispers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah. We all got our awesome kings. Yep. Awesome! Whisper Bart's so cool. My favorite. I haven't played one yet, so I'm totally going for it. So cool. I think you're playing a Whisper Bard right, though, up to now. You think? Yeah. Cool. All right. I've been doing super shady. No. <laughs> She's got a good heart. She just does what she wants. <laughs> All right. So morning, morning comes up, and um, for the morning, actually, you don't see Zolkin. Seems that he slipped out. Sounds mm -hmm. good to me. Uh, Damn. But y'all are all full hit points. Have all your spells. And you have half of your hit dice back. Means we have two hit dice. Speak for yourself, son. Yeah. I've got one. Oh, wait, do you round That's up? Half round it up. Yeah, half okay. round up. And yes, if you didn't cute. use any, which I think everybody kind of did to try to stay alive. <laughs> totally did. Yeah. yeah, we burned them all. <laughs> yeah. So. All gone. If anybody had any hit dice left, you're a freaking slacker. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Laura. Oh, uh, Laura. <laughs> I'm starting to think of a different game. All right. Um, she comes all over. Super right. sad. Uh, uh, Laura. She walks over in the morning. She's like, oh, he's gone. Oh, well, better that he's not here. He says, uh, she's like, I'm sorry about my behavior yesterday. But uh, as we said um, yesterday, um, and uh, Kellen told me what's going, what, what she had spoken to you all about in. Thank you again. Um, yes, we need our people, but they are uh, probably in the caves. You know, 
to the north. And, uh, but, uh, I cannot tell you what to expect. Um, Orcs, snow, goblin, but, uh, most likely. Hmm. Good luck. Um, she's like, this is all we could spare. Um, each, she gives each one of you a ration. So you have, all have one ration. Oh, no, no, I don't have any of my other rations? I mean, if you have well, rations with your background or whatever. Background, well, technically yeah. we would have eaten one last, last night on our all long right. rest. So. Right. Do nothing. Got Pretty it. Much, yeah, yeah, do nothing. You gotta eat during the day. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, sorry. Yeah. So the mad druid anymore, I'm like, oh yeah, I can't make my food? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Different game. Details, d details. Alright, so she kind of leaves you and comes back here. And so what we I guess like it is uh, time we go outside and observe the damage. I guess we shall. Facing the music, as one says. Perhaps that is what we need while we t survey the the damage. I assume Sultan took his horse. Yes. A sad vial of vial, or however you say Fire. it. Mm -hmm. I guess vial. it is First very thing... blacky charcoal right here, and the last like this mm. kind of ends. Uh, they look a bit unstable. Mm. So uh, instead of 15 feet, first. it's like a 20 foot gap. Oh, that's uh, so harder. It's a that's little a lot harder. bit harder. Vince, yes. before we before we head over, I mean, those dead guards are just sort of floating out there. Do you think we could bring them back? It's it's quite um, dismal. I think that is something the other guards can do. Are you going to tell them what to do? That's fine. Let's go. I'm sure they will see it, and they should... one of them means something very important. I'm sure they will take care of it. Okay. Well, hopefully we don't slip and fall and land on a yep. course. I'm gonna give a running jump and attempt to make the 20 foot leap. Okay. Um, dexterity. To make sure you... Dexterity? Yep, dexterity. Acrobatics? Yeah, acrobatics. Hi. Yeah. You run! You jump, and it seems like when you took that jump, you kind of didn't judge how far to go, and your foot kind of took off on one of the crusty parts, and it went in a bit down, so you didn't get as far as you could, and you kind of, and go into the water. Oh, you mean that, like, <laughs> I slammed my gut into the end yes. of the bridge and then fell back? Yes. Oh, oh Cormac, we need you out here. Ha! <laughs> 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 Thank you. I'm coming. I, I almost you. saw that. Yes, I, f I felt that something was missing as he. Is the water warm? No. I'm fine, though. Just watch that first step. Okay. <laughs> you, climb, right. you climb back up, but no problem. I feel like one of you must must jump over first and then help me across. I just. I'm not feeling well. My, my full self. Really? Because I'm feeling great. And he jumps across. Or tries to. Okay. Turns um, out... No, sorry, go on. Um, because of um, everything, um, basically, you still need to roll acrobatics, but I'm going to give you advantage okay. on that because of how it's worded. In said document. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you get over just as you see um, <laughs> Vincent dripping <laughs> in on the side. Yeah, squeezing out. Yeah, alright! And he slapped you on the back. I'm just fine. Thank you. All right, gentlemen, try to catch me if I don't quite make it, or if you can reach. Oh, God help me. Acrobatics! If I fail this, I'm going to be so sad. I guess we'll attempt to catch her. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah. I don't think we can. No. You, yeah, unfortunately, you can't even attempt to catch her. Yeah, <laughs> she actually doesn't yeah, even like a... make it to the edge. She just falls in the water. Yeah. 
and you kind of swim out over to the side and you, you the, pull yourself up over over here. Some, oh, of the, um, uh, <laughs> some of the bridge is burned. Yes. It just breaks away. Do you try like to jump off of it? Dog. <laughs> As she pulls herself out of this boat. There are dead bodies in there. Yep. <laughs> you you floated right by swell. one. And... Uh, uh, that's all she says. She's just wringing out her robes. <laughs> you guys are supposed to catch me. This is looking really calm this morning. You probably noticed that when when you woke up, he was kind of just there, kind of like the heck kneeling. What is that? Oh, oh cool charred bits. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's looking super calm, and he, yeah, he'll just run and just jump it. Hmm, I and think. Yeah. You're gonna use your. Or are you gonna hold on to it and just fall in the water? You have to learn from your experience, Days. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, huh? yeah I don't want to use my inspiration <laughs> for that. Everything he happens for a reason. dives in the water. <laughs> dies like. Oh, oh, <laughs> just like, kidding. Kinda, like, <laughs> trying to act like. He does a belly flop and Yeah, so play that off, yeah. I totally want to know if he does a belly flop or if he if he plays it off. What are you trying to play it off? Roll, roll performance. I'm gonna have you roll performance if you're gonna try to play it off. I am. He'll dive in. Dive in. Yeah, right, roll performance. Because you were intending to just. Oh, oh no! Yeah, you flop. you were like trying to play it off. Everybody knows <laughs> that it, you did one of those. You know how like you try to go diving and you go Psh, instead of like going that way. <laughs> you kind of like put your hands out and you gotta. That's funny. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> it never gets old. <laughs> Effie does not laugh. She sympathizes. <laughs> Quite the experience, wouldn't you say, Dan? Ugh. A little chill in the air. You guys cold? Soaking wet? Is it cold? No. <laughs> I don't know what the weather is. I feel Let's much warmer going. after watching that. <laughs> He slaps you all on the back as he <laughs> Rylex to decides get off to bridge. stay with the guards. <laughs> Sleeping. That's fine. Comfortable. Aww. <coughs> Can I have my vision back? Because it's daytime. Oh, yep. I'm sorry. Thank you. You almost feel like when you slap this here on the back, you almost feel like you're having to push mentally through it to slap him on the back. <laughs> Ah, weird. I think it's like a champ. It's just like you—you you just feel this sense of calmness when you go to slap him on the back, and it's just like, should I be slapping you on the? Yeah. Should I be slapping? Yeah, I should. <laughs> he shakes his head. I'll let you know why. I'll let you know why. Because of that. Oh my gosh! Really? You cast the sanctuary on yourself. <laughs> It lasts eight hours? That's incredible! <laughs> a center of calmness. Damn it! I thought Which mine was is cool. why it costs two key points. Oh. Yeah, but yeah. once you attack, it fades, right? So. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yep. I mean, it'd be better if you could use it on other people. But, I mean, I guess it is a class Thanks feature. Thing. Yeah. When you're a monk. <laughs> so. Yeah. Chris is constantly the wah wah. He's like, the actuality of this is it sucks. Well, no, it's fun. <laughs> it's, it's just, you know. It sucks. You can't be tranquil <laughs> and punch people in the face. True. True. Okay. 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 Sure. All right, where am I? Where am so I? you're kind of looking around, and none of the buildings really look that broken because the goblins did a really good job of, like, you know, you do see a very nicely eaten mule there. Um, Vincent, oh, a lot of no. your stuff has been ransacked through. All the good uh -oh. stuff is taken. Um, okay. Wait, where's the donkey? I'm sorry. 
it here? Ooh. Okay. So, uh, Whoa. <laughs> that was merchant cool. scales. My soap. Would orcs take soap? No. I had bars of soap. You have soap. <laughs> yes. Sorry, Jace. I know awesome. you like that mule. Anything of value. Um, it had a chance to get anything away. Anything that is worth at least a gold is gone. Okay. Uh, I would say we lost the treasure items that were huge that we left in the in the wagon. So, but all the others, I think we had with us. Yeah, I think you had everything except for, like the. It was a painting. Yeah, and then I think there was like his armor kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, we left that in the inn, so that's probably gone. Okay. Yeah. Well, actually, no. Then it wouldn't be gone if you left it in the inn. No. Um, they, after they got about to. Here, they got tired because <laughs> there's no, there's no people. There's like nothing, and so they did, however, um, go through this house over here, and the one that said nobody entered. Yeah, that whole door is just like completely axed down, <laughs> and you know, this treasure is taken out of there and it's ransacked, but. You look, and there are the horses. They were actually left untouched. Uh, were there any? Are there any dead orcs around the building that we didn't check out? Uh, around the one with the scary message. There are some dead orcs. Yes, but the dead orcs, you wouldn't be able to see them unless you. Open well, up I mean, the drawbridge. I, I mean, around the house that was uh, warded or spelled or had the death message on it. Yeah, no, it seems like that was just a. It wasn't like a really. Yeah, it was just a message. It wasn't Piles warded in any around. way, shape, or form. Oh. Yeah. So y'all could like, have yeah, unlocked like, it. You know, the, you know, the, the sign from the security company in front of your house, and that's it. ADT, yep. yeah. Sign ADT, and the, the, it wasn't even wired. Yeah. This car is protected <laughs> by Jesus. That that has been ransacked. They took the treasures and everything out of that. Um, but right. they stopped once they got you know like halfway because they were like, damn it, there's nothing here, and they just left. They were. They were full on horse. Yeah, they they really liked that mule, and that was good. And then they took off. But there are some horses that are. I'll go in and and like uh, start settling up like all five horses. Okay. I'll, I'll settle up four and and like get the other one as a pack horse. Okay, and put it on the yeah the cart's fine. It was just. We're gonna go look through the stuff. Nope, yeah. nope, nope. So, yeah, okay. you take so some time to set all really that up. We have enough stuff for a cart now. To slow us down. So, let's see. Did they leave through the gate or through where they came? Um, they left the way that they came. Oh, okay. <laughs> Through the moat. <laughs> Through the moat. Yeah. I thought they would have just gone and like let the bridge down. Mm, no, they're not. Ooh, let's get together. To... Nah, no, they're not trying to. They're like, ah, there's a bunch of axe marks in that drawbridge, and it's like we can't get through. We'll just go back the other way, kind of thing. Didn't they like cut the chain? <gasps> Team Alpha, lower the drawbridge. Team nope. B, act as a decoy. Yeah. Nope. They did nothing of like the sort. The they leave push. it if it wasn't already. They just leave it alone. Oh well. Yeah. How did that Weird. guy get out of the city? Right. So they like uh, lead the horses into the square. Are we ready? I suppose. <clears throat> Better now than never. Cormac stretching. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Uh, what are we doing? Nice. I assume we are going after the people who uh, live in this town, who are possibly in caves infested by goblins, somewhere to the northwest. Ah. 
I you thought you guys were just saying that so they'd leave you alone. But okay, let's go save some people. <laughs> hmm. I thought it was a job. But... I a prepaid job. Since... Obviously I've already been paid. Hmm. Well, the, the payment of the four gems worth 400 gold is for uh, repelling the first... Uh, attack on the down. The 18 gold is merely a down payment for the uh, retrieving of the civilians. I'm sure we can negotiate it properly. I don't think they have any more money. Well, think about it. I understand that you are a man of money and you sell things and take money and there's an exchange. However, typically when you help someone, you just help them and you don't expect anything in return. If you expect something in return, then you just take it. But since there's nothing to take, we just do. Mm -hmm. If the villagers cannot help themselves, then we should help. I think we should help. Her cheeks Wait a flush minute, a little elf. bit as if she may feel sick. I thought you said that everybody needed to learn their own lesson, and therefore should be left alone. If no one... If they can't learn the lesson by helping themselves, then we need to aid, because we learn the lesson. Hmm. Intriguing. Cormac takes out a pipe and starts smoking. <laughs> I think it's in the back of the on the back of the cart and continues to play her viol. It's a nice tone. Why, thank you. I have trained since I was three. So, the elf wants to help these people learn a lesson. Ms. Effie, uh, you wants to... I'm sorry, what was the question? What do you want to do? Me, um, I think we are hired for a job to do. I think that we should help regardless of getting paid. Cornet. Yeah. <laughs> That's all he says. <laughs> Blows out a big billowing cloud of smoke. Well, I guess that settles it then. We off we go. Cormac, do you have any of that? Oh. Ever. I know. Cormac, do you have any more of that whiskey? Yeah. No, he doesn't. You do? No, he did. He purposefully kept, like, there's, like, a quarter of the bottle left. <laughs> like, a little little bit of slither. A swirl. <laughs> we all should have some liquid courage before heading up north. Uh, sure. He takes it out, and takes, takes a sip for himself, <laughs> and then hands it over. <laughs> Effie dabs a little bit of her tongue and passes it on to Vincent. I hold it up to the light, and there's, like, nothing but fumes inside. <laughs> like backwash. I pass it off to Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> backwash, nasty. <laughs> it's empty. Why are you passing it to me? I don't know. He's, he's keeping with the ritual here. I just... I take a smell, and I pass it back. <laughs> he's just like... <laughs> and then I throw it on the ground and smash it. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's hey. go! You have Let's to go. Stomp on, stomp on the glass to make it official. Oh, I already broke it. Okay, good. That's fine. Let's go. Yeah. Next time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll go Will over, lower the bridge with the help of somebody. We mount up and off we go. Okay. I'm gonna open this. So you can Watch see out for the wargs. They're starting to blow. The station. Jesus. Let me do that again. Do Don't that. name these horses. They will all be dead in two sessions. <laughs> maybe, maybe Rough. not. Be the wizard. But then that's the challenge. Dandy horses a have a lifespan shorter than Star Trek Richards. <laughs> I mean... Uh, <laughs> I like that. Um, or, you it's can like all before the title crawl. choose a horse and name your horse. And whatever don't that could it. be all later and stuff. Got to get attached to it. it. But yeah, no, they're don't. all there. 
I honestly God, don't horses. know if I can even ride a horse. Which one's the ugliest? This one. Yep. Cormac goes to the ugly one. Actually, I, I think I need a draft horse, not a riding horse. So I pick one of the bigger, stronger ones. <laughs> All right. Then that would be the one that Cormac was, because this one is actually a draft horse. Ah. Huh. I suppose I can see if I can get on one of these beasts. The other three are just riding horses. I just hold my hand down and help you up. Pull I think up. I can get the hang of this. <laughs> Later on, I'll give them their stats. But I let awesome. them there so that you could actually use them. Anyways, yes, I I'm claiming open that just so you here. can see the devastation, and then oh, I really we will that. move on. Okay. <laughs> so. All yeah. right, girl. I, I like to name my house, my horse Whiskey. I'm gonna make one change because this horse was gonna look different. One of the okay. horses will look different. So. Okay. Why not? <sighs> whiskey. All right. Yeah. So which one did you want? Talking to me. Yeah. You know oh, what? The actually. Right next to all right. All right. It so really matter. we're oh, gonna okay. resolve all that after game. All okay. right. Okay. All so, right, cool. totally if y'all can see through there, <laughs> walk to the edge, you can move your horses, if you will. Oh, cool. um, the, we'll say that the other horse, you can just kind of do the whole, I'm going to hold the reins, and uh, the um, pack horse will just, like, kind of go wherever that other horse is being led kind of thing. So... We're gonna do that. Phew. And I will I'll control the pack, the pack horse. So if you go out to the edge, I will move y'all so y'all don't have to move y'all. Horse, sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. You put all those tokens on there just so you could kill them off. <laughs> oh my gosh. They were being killed. If you watch hey, the video, so they were dying right? while y'all were uh fighting. Yep. Is that guy alive? No. Uh, actually, as we pass the uh, kind of the carnage, I'd like to dismount and take a look at a few of the bodies of these soldiers and see if I can identify who they were with. Okay, so um, you kind of take a, a, a better look, a couple of seconds to really take a good look, and you see some markings on them. This up, Ugh. and I will tell you. All right. I mean, for the most of them, you're not really sure who they belong to, but it seems like somebody got a bit careless when they were mm -hmm. putting on their. Disguise. But like, uh, is there any like insignias or and, what yeah. kind of? D they yeah. got they got careless, and you ended up seeing something from the, that denotes this in Tarim. Right. <laughs> and we know that the Zentarum are traders that occasionally deal in less than. They good you stuff. know you know that oh here let's see yep that's what you know you know oh. that they are the best mess uh, mercenaries that money can buy. Okay. So the whole thing about them being soldiers obviously was a lie. Um, well, they were soldiers in a way, sort of. Just not for any just not nation. For, yeah, yeah. <laughs> soldiers for themselves. <laughs> um, mm. But yeah, so you seem to think that that's what they were. Hmm. Zintarim, after all. Alright. Are y'all ready to... Um, who are they? I... I showed you, I'll show you again. The Zentarum? Oh, you don't know who the Zentarum are? Zentarum? No. Mercenaries, scum. What's this scum about mercenaries? These ones specifically. Mm. What are they? Are they mm. are they elves? Are they humans? Are they orcs? 
I think there are any and they're, all of the above. They are humans and half elves among them. I don't think the Zentarum gen tend to uh, discriminate in that manner. It's more the color of your coin that they judge you by. Yes, it, it seems <laughs> like they're known for having all different types. However, who came here are only half orcs and humans. Probably, after y'all think about it, just to make the ruse believable. Mm. 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 Well, I have not heard of them. They don't have a... They don't have any influence in the Feywild. Hmm. Neither have I. When I was soldiering, came across some of them on the other side. They turned and ran. Side of what? <laughs> A battle. Oh. I'm afraid of you, <laughs> were they? Well, me and all my squad. Mm, and how many was that? Twelve. Mm, the mighty twelve. A dozen. We, we shall call it Sparta in history. Well, there's a dwarvish name for him, but I won't go into it. Of course, I know a little dwarvish here and there. She brags. Just a little. His eye just, one eye goes really big at that, but he doesn't say anything. Alright. Yep, and we'll continue on, I guess. Trot away. Okay. So, um, how are you attempting to find this cave? They just said, hey, north. But yeah. we go to north rocks. is kind of a vast. So, can what I, um. Are there any tracks that I can see? Okay. There you uh, go. Give me a survival. Yes. The goblins did say they were from there, so... Oh. Okay, so you're looking and you find uh, tracks of children-sized and, like, human-sized, and you can tell exactly where to go. There are tracks over here leading this way. Probably go that way, and maybe we'll find the cave. More and more terrifying orcs. <laughs> I suppose Possibly, you know a orc foot from a human foot. Well, this is children feet. Probably some goblins, also probably some children from the town. Hmm. They're human the Goblins feet. capturing children. Or children Always. capturing goblins. Hmm. Uh. You just never know. Well, uh, goblin feet have pointed toenails, so uh, you can usually tell their indentation. Don't they clip them? It's barbaric. No, they're goblins. Still, I mean, if they curve far enough, they could cut into their toe, and then they'll be bleeding everywhere. And it makes it easier for them to, to track them. Is so, there any blood? <laughs> Something um, tells me you're looking I around. Think. It doesn't seem like anyone was bleeding. So, uh, by that account, it kind of seems like it wasn't like they were attacked. It was more like probably when the giants threw down the stuff, they're just like, "Oh my gosh!" and then they just took off. Yeah. Yep. I'm just riding, following the tracks. Yeah. Well, Carmack well, asked a specific question. So. I also do this. Right. Come right. on, horse. So, as you're walking, you get to uh, <laughs> seems like the outside of a cave. This off. I'm going to do this. I'm guessing I was leading, so. Yeah. Uh, Cave up here, everyone. All right. Um, you kind of leave your horses to the outside of the cave. Oh my goodness! You walk up to the cave entrance and get riddled with crossbow bolts. <laughs> <laughs> A rock falls on your head. 
<laughs> Let me know when it's safe. Seems like I'm just deleting a bunch of. And like, uh, how far away was this? Is like that. half a day, um, an hour. I will tell you. Most of the day. Long as it takes. All right, it is about a mile away. So it oh, not. ten oh. minutes, five ten minutes, minutes, ten minutes. Much. Uh, so yeah, you get, about ten minutes later, you get um, even less than that because you're on horses, I guess. Um, you get there. And it's still bright and early. It's like eight in the morning. Um, and you see this cave. And you, you walk up to the cave. And you're just on the outside. I kind of stuck you in there a right. bit. But that doesn't mean you have to actually... You're not in there. But, so you're on the outside. <laughs> 300 Whoa. yards ahead yep. of you. So you have okay, some time okay. to think about what you want to do. Let me see, let me see. Okay, here we go. So this is the cave entrance. Yep, you see the cave entrance. Hmm, seems dark in there. This guy, do you see any other evidence of, like, increased activity outside of the cave? Can I look around for, um, any goblin do tracks? Check. Perception. 22. Um, it seems like there are tracks that lead out of the mouth of the cave. Uh, mm -hmm. Putting two and two together, it's probably the goblins that came and like that one goblin had told one of y'all. Yeah. So it's not a lot of, just a couple, like uh, ten, ten, so different kind of goblin feats, feetsies. And there's also yes. the the human the human and child footprints going in. Yes. Okay. Um, Is there any other really footprints that like uh, coming? Any around. goblins on the outside? I'm sorry. So, uh, Daisy, do you see the, any that split off? Perhaps a patrol around the cave. Uh, do I see any? No. No. Uh, no, just ones that came out. Looks like they were, they were the ones that attack the town. But you're welcome to go and take a closer look and walk around it if you want. Ooh, tell me, how fresh are they? Yeah, Probably yesterday. Mm. We might see some of our friends in here. I am sure there well, will be the many familiar faces. The human footprints. I don't footprints think I know anyone from this town. Referring to the goblins. Ah. Um, Daisy, as you're kind of talking with them and kind of looking around the front of the entrance, you do notice... That's about 22 perception. Uh, you do notice there are uh, a pair of really huge footprints. Maybe like of human a large creature like... of some sort. Okay. Not sure what it is, but... These have me a bit perplexed, these footprints here. What these are neither that? human Maybe nor inside. goblin. Perhaps it's two human walking very close together to create such a large footprint, right? That's completely possible. I do not know. Well, I say we go in and find these villages, these townspeople, if there are goblins in the cave and something else. I would agree. Uh, there are two options here. We could lure them out, but I think going in while they do still do not expect us is the better option. Depends how many there are. Well, I judging do. by the footprints, as Stacey I said, maybe a dozen. And I think, now that we have been well rested, we might have a better chance. You're more confident than I. Well, I will go in first. I can see further. How noble of you. Right. Okay, and that's where we will end. Forward to Step forward. I would like to say I stow my 
violin. That wasn't already implied. <laughs> no, we're gonna be sneaking in. Here's... <laughs> um, Vincent, you are gonna be completely blind if you yep. don't do something. Yep, yep. So we're gonna have my candle, which will be completely helpful to you. No, Luke's gonna lie. Oh, there we go. Candle box, don't we? A little bit of a radius <laughs> candle. Mm -hmm. Let so me. weird not having, like, a spellcaster who can just, like, fire. Nope. It's okay, that's what torches are for. Yep, torches. I <laughs> know. <laughs>